Good evening, uh, everybody. Uh, today I will talk about uh, the introduction uh, of animals uh, during the Roman times in Tunisia. The creation of uh, the Roman Empire uh, promoted, the con uh, promoted the connectivity around the Mediterranean Sea. The large size of the empire encouraged movement and spread of animals that colonized a uh, new area by traveling on human means of transport. In fact, archaeological and historic data show that during the Roman period, people played a fundamental role in migration of animals in the Mediterranean basin. With this communication, we attempt to point out what species were introduced in Tunisia during the Roman period through literature and archaeozoological data available and to compare those results with our, with our archaeozoological preliminary result. Therefore, for my presentation, I will use the following plan. First, I will present the animals that were introduced in Tunisia during the Roman uh, period through literature and archaeozoology. Secondly, I will uh, explain the exotic animals that were uh, exported by the Roman in Europe from Tunisia. In third point, I will expose the sites that uh, object of our archaeozoological uh, study and to compare with the available data, the conclusion will be the last point. Documented by Baumgarten in 1996, Gubad Bintrai site show that hair was an important source of game in Carthage during the late antiquity. According to Mackinon, hair constitute the most important taxon for Roman levels in Carthage. Archaeological survey done in Zimbra Island in northeast of Tunisia show that the rabbit was present before the second century AD. Probably the animal had been introduced by Bronze Age or Roman people between the third millennium BC and the third century AD. The, the site has also uh, documented by hard decrees that led to the proposal for an introduction between uh, 1000 BC and 100 AD. According to Duvini, the black rat and the mouse were introduced in uh, Zimbra Island by people probably at the end of classical antiquity. Rats were introduced in this island over 2000 years ago. The colonization process was probably, uh, probably depending on human movement by boats. So archaeological evidence suggests that uh, the Roman undertook the widespread of uh, fallow deer across the, the Mediterranean. Fallow deer seems to be introduced <coughs> in Zimbra Island during the Roman period. Three fauna remains were found on Birin Nahal site uh, in the northeast of Tunisia, belong to the 6th and 7th century AD. Dogs could have been transported by, uh, between regions by human uh, along maritime and terrestrial uh, trade uh, route. Uh, the introduction of dogs from the Far East brought to, brought to the to, uh, to, uh, Mediterranean. Um, just. The introduction of dog from the Far East brought to the Mediterranean from Roman trading expedition. In fact, Malt's breed seems to be introduced in North Africa during the antiquity because of the vicinity to Malta. Therefore, following literature and archaeozoological data, we know that during the Roman period, the following animals were introduced into, in Tunisia for the following purposes. Rabbit and hare were used for wild game. Hare was an important source of game in Roman Carthage. Rats expanded by following a movement of human populations. The, Roman, the Romans may have kept fallow deer in, the, uh, in their uh, villa garden or on the vicinity of their farm to enhance their splendor and their pleasure 
and sometimes to bring profit and revenue. Dogs were introduced uh, for social purposes. According to Romans, dogs were believed to bring healing powers. The Yasmina dogs uh, provided us a special care taken for a pet. The relationship between the animal and uh, its owner was strong. This aspect of human culture does not seem to have changed since Roman times. But Tunisia, but Tunisia was also used to export animal, more concretely uh, wild mammals. Development of the wild uh, animal trade during the Roman period was because of the uh, dem augmented demand of, for exotic beasts for entertainment and show purposes. In Roman times, large number of Burberry line were cut in North Africa and transported to Rome to be used in the arena. The cameras were used for military and trade purposes. Uh, during the late Roman period, the state maintained a large number of cameras for the transport of the supply that the Roman army needed on its campaign. Camels were also used as a reading animal and could also help in agricultural activity. Some camels fighting and camel uh, racing were recorded in public show. Introduced in Italy in the late antiquity medieval period, porcupines were used as game animals and probably has occurred for pharmaceutical reasons. Our archaeozoological data come from two Tunisian sites, Zama and Rizin. Zama is located in the plain of Siliena, in the center of Tunisia. This region is famous since the antiquity by, la by its land of Syria. Probably is located in the vicinity of the site of Zama battle. Rizin site is located in northeast of Jerba, southern Tunisia. Several fishermen cabin have been documented. Preliminary datation between the 2nd and the 3rd century AD was given to the construction of the terminal structure of Zama Regia city. A recent site has a chronology starting since Punic period until late antiquity. Preliminary archaeozoological identification point out the presence of dog, hare, and <coughs> rabbit. As a conclusion, we can point out that hair was introduced during the Roman period and was an important source of game in Roman Carthage. Rabbit has been introduced by Bronze Age or Roman people. Fallow deer seems to be introduced also during the Roman period. Some dogs as much breed were brought to Carthage from Roman trading expeditions. So the sacred evidence available until now show that in Tunisia, there was an introduction of commensal animals as black rat, house mouse, a conscious introduction of wild uh, animals as follow deer, rabbit, and hare, and domestic animals as dog for hunting activities. Therefore, with this communication, we have presented a review of all the information available until now about the introduction of animals in Tunisia during the Roman times. And we have added our preliminary result. We hope to present more archaeozoological data in the future with our PhD. And finally, thank you for your attention.